Hello! Uh, in this video we're going to be looking at uh, three things. This is primarily for my uh, GCSE and A-level students. Uh, we're going to be looking at hexadecimal numbers, we're going to be looking at octal numbers, and we're also going to be looking at binary coded decimal. Um, and this one is interesting uh, and really easy. Binary coded decimal is really easy. Um, the others are a little bit more complex, so let's get going. We're going to start off with hexadecimal numbers. So hexadecimal numbers are base 16 numbers, okay, and they are, um, well, you've probably seen them before when you look at, um, when you're working in graphics programs, sometimes you might see like a, or if you're doing like websites, you might see a colour code for something, so FF, 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 that's the colour code for white, um, and these, this is a hexadecimal number, and I'll, I'll show you why or what that value is in a moment. So hexadecimal numbers have 16 numbers. They range from 0 to 15. Okay. Now we represent um, the hexadecimal numbers with numbers and letters. You can't represent a, a double digit number uh, with, a, with a number. They have to be single numbers. So what happens when we get to 10 and 11 and so forth? Well, 0 to 9 are the same, but then we start to show 10 as being A, 11, B, 12, C, 13, D, 14, E, and 15, F. Okay, so what this, what this uh, colour code here is saying is 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15. So how does it work? Well, let's take a, a number. Um, and if you remember back to our binary lesson, uh, we had our table, um, which was, uh, well, let's do, let's do one over here. So we have 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, and 128. And we're going to stick in um, a random binary number. So we're just going to go 1011101. Zero, zero, one, 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 zero, one. Okay, so what we do, I'm, I'm not interested in what this, this actual number is right now. Um, what we, well, okay, let's do it. Uh, so 128 plus, uh, what's the easiest way of doing it? Um, so that's 20 plus, that's 148. Uh, what have I got up to? I've lost myself. 20, 148 plus 8, uh, yeah, 148. Am I right? My brain has gone to mush. Mush, I tell you, I'm tired. Uh, right, 128. Let's stick on. Uh, let's do 40, that's 28, 148, plus the 8, that's 146, 147. Okay, wow, that took me a while. Oof, I should have written it down beforehand. Never mind. 147. Okay, so we want to represent this number, 147, but using uh, hexadecimal. So what do we do? Well, very simple. We are going to, let's get pink, we are going to cut this number in half, right down the middle. Okay, so we've got four bits and another four bits here. We cut it in half. And then what we do is we don't count these as they are. We then start again. One, two, four, and eight. We then add up these numbers. So eight plus one is equal to nine. And then we have eight plus four is 12, plus one is 13. So it's nine, 13. Now, if you remember, we can't remember, uh, we can't represent a number with double digits. So we have to convert this. So 13, if we look down our table, becomes D. So 13 becomes D. D, so this number 147 is equal to 9d in hex. Okay, 9d in hex. Um, so run through that again. Let's let's see if I can do better math this time. Let's take another number. Ooh, that's not very straight. Wow. Okay. Try again. I'll do. So 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64 and 64 and 128. Okay, our random number, 1101 uh, and 1110. Okay, we cut the thing in half. Okay. Um, this number here, let's uh, work it out before we get any further. So we've got uh, 100 and 28 plus, uh, we've got 64, what's the easiest way of doing this? 
100, oh, mental maths, my word, 64 plus, we'll do the 16, plus the 8, plus the 4, plus the 2, we've got 294 I think that is, so equals, let's go back to that colour so we keep it consistent, so 294, we split the number in half, which we've done now, split it in half, these values we overwrite and we go 1, 2, 4 and 8, we then add it up. So this one was 13, and this one was 14. Okay, now we can't represent double numbers or double digits, uh, so we have to cross that off. 13 becomes D, and 14 becomes E. Okay, so we have 294 is equal to DE in hex. Okay, um, and then to work it to work it out backwards, it's a fairly simple process. So let's create a little bit of space here. Uh, let's rub, let's rub this uh, these numbers out. Okay, just to make a bit more space here. Okay, need a bigger rubber. I'll get a bigger rubber in a minute. Okay. Okay, we've got some space. Got some space. Okay, so oh ooh, ah. Okay. Let's get our numbers. Let's try a lime green or no, this is jade green. Okay, uh, so let's work backwards. So we're taking the numbers D and E. Okay, right. Well, we know if we have our number system. Let's uh, let's get these backward a bit smaller. So A is ten, B equals eleven, C equals twelve, D equals thirteen, E equals fourteen. And F equals 15. Okay, so D is equal to 13. So we have to make 13 on our binary number. So that's 1, 8, 4, 0, and 1. E is 14. So that's 8, 4, 2. We're at 14, so it's a 0 there. Then, once we have a binary number, we've effectively stitched these together. We're then going to go and do our 1, 2, 4, a, 16, 32, 64, and 128. And then you just work out. So 128 plus 64 plus 16 plus 8 plus 4 plus 2 is equal to our magic number 294. And that's how you work out uh, hexadecimal numbers. Okay, so let's take a look then at octal. Okay, so let's... Uh, Let's go light orange. So we've got octal. Okay, so octal works exactly the same way as hex. The only difference is it's a base eight number, and we instead of splitting it into bit, uh, groups of four bits, we're going to split them into groups of three. So actually, let's take our number again. What was that number? We have um, two nine four, which was uh, this is going to look a bit confusing, but we'll I'll get rid of the other one in a second. So we had uh, one. One zero one 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 zero. Okay, let's hide that layer. Oh, I've done it in the wrong layer. Mm -hmm. uh, back on this layer. Oh no, that's the layer. Okay, sorry. Right. Okay, so uh, we've got our number here, and this was equal to two nine four. And remember, if we look at that code again, it was uh, DE, so DE in hex. What we now do is we split this number into uh, groups of three, so boom and boom. Um, now we work out the actual value of this, so this is now equal to one, two, four, one, two, four, one, two, and you can add another one if you want, just to neaten it up. But We've got 6, we've got 3, and we've got 3. So 294 in denary number, or DE in hexadecimal number, is equal to 336 in octal. And we can work back. So let's take a new number, but it's represented in octal this time. So we're going to just take a random number. We'll just do 2, 4, and... Oops, that's my phone. Should put it on silent. 2, 4, and 1. We look at each value separately. The, the hexadecimal value for this is 0, 0, 1. This one is 
uh, one zero zero and this is zero one zero and then we stitch it together so this is worth one two four eight sixteen thirty two sixty four and one hundred and twenty eight we ignore that one so it's a hundred and twenty eight plus thirty two so that's a hundred and uh, 60, 161, so 161 in our number system. So I'm just going to put like uh, denary here, or den for now. So denary, 161 in octal, well, we can work it out. We've got the binary for it now, so let's just rewrite this out. So uh, 1010, zero, one, zero. split it, 0, zero, zero 1. This is equal to uh, the value of 1. This is equal to the value of 8 plus 2, which is 10. We can't have 10, we have A, so it's equal to A1 in hex. Okay, so 2, 4, 1 in octal. All these, oops, all these numbers, all these numbers mean the same thing. They're just a different way of representing our number. Okay, so that's that's octal. We've got we've done our hex and we've done our octal okay so let's the last one let's take a look at the binary coded decimal so let's do uh, this is prune binary coded decimal okay so the final one very easy okay what we do is we r represent our numbers each number so let's take 179 okay random number 179 um, what we do is we split each one of these numbers into binary numbers, so in four bits. So one is represented by zero, 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 one. Seven is represented by one, oh sorry, that's that, uh, so zero, one, one, one. And nine is represented by one, zero, zero, one. So our binary coded decimal for the value of one, seven, nine is zero, 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 one. 0111001001. If you're ever shown a, bi uh, a binary coded decimal, or if you see a binary number and you know it's in binary coded decimal, all you need to do is work out what the numbers are. The highest number you'll see in binary is going to be zero, uh, 1001, because that's 9. Okay, You only focus on the single digits. The lowest one you're going to see is 0000, zero, zero, zero which is equal to 0. So let's take a random number. Um, let's take uh, 1001001010. Zero, 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 one, one, zero. Right. First of all, I know it's going to be an, odd, uh, an even number. Why do I know? Because this value here is. Uh, not a 1, so I know it's going to be an even number, so that helps me make sure I get it right. So the first value here, if we split it into groups of 4, because we know it's binary coded decimal, we have the value 8, because remember it's 1, 2, 4, 8, 1, 2, 4, 8, 1, 2, 4, 8, uh, my 8s are oh, shocking. Right, so 8, 9, and 6. So 896 is represented in binary coded decimals 1000, And that's it. That's all it is. We've got hex, octal, and binary coded decimal.